So here we have the Nissan Qashqai on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through just a few of the controls on the inside. From the outside, you can see it's a five-door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then, as I mentioned, we'll hop in and run through just a few of the controls on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and coolant temperature gauge, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the center, you can see the total mass of the car. They are 37,326. You can change the information that's displayed in that section using buttons on the steering wheel for various different menus, as you can see. If we back out to the steering wheel, uh, the buttons in question are just over here. We have stereo controls surrounding that, cruise control, speed limiter, and phone controls on the right-hand side. Over into the center, we have the main touch screen. So you can pair your phone from here. Uh, once you've done so, you can obviously make and receive phone calls, but you can also use Bluetooth audio to stream your music wirelessly. We've got auxiliary input, a CD player, AM, DAB, and FM radio as well. We've also got satellite navigation, as you can see, and a 360 parking camera. So we have a reversing camera and the bird's eye view image of where the car is parked right now. It goes a couple of steps beyond that. You get the front facing camera and the bird's eye view, or a front facing camera and the front passenger side wheel. This car also has autonomous parking, meaning that it can parallel park or perpendicular park itself, depending on which one of these you select. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger temperature, driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, your air conditioning is off and on again from here. Or hit auto. The car will then maintain the temperature, temperatures in fact, that you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed and direction of the air. Any manual adjustment will take auto off and allow you to put it back on your own settings. We have a 12 volt charging socket, electronic handbrake with the auto hold function, a six speed manual gearbox, and then both passenger and driver heated seats with two different heat settings on each. Last thing I wanted to mention is the panoramic glass roof. We have a button up there that will open that sun blind all the way to the back of those rear seats, letting in, as you can see, a huge amount of extra light to the cabin area. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.